Well, as you just heard, the Blue Jackets coming off a big win here last night. And, Jody, that win made it three in a row. They've been trying for so long to get themselves a legitimate streak going. How important was that one last night? Well, if you go back at this last segment of games, games are coming fast and furious. That California trip was subpar. But way in the rearview mirror now, the Blue Jackets have won three in a row, and things are going well. And in the back-to-back playing last night, they want to continue that again tonight. And it was a big night for Thomas Vanek. He scored his first two goals as a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and he says that him and his centerman, Alexander Wenberg, are starting to work things out. Every center is different. So, again, the, the last five games or whatever, I'm, I'm trying to read them as much as I can on the ice. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out his patterns of when I enter the zone with the puck, when he enters it, what he likes to do. And I think it's uh, slowly getting better. Goal scorer Thomas Vanek. Yes, his first and second as a Blue Jacket. A weight off his back. And that's a good thing for the Blue Jackets. That line is rolling. Boone Jenner, Alexander Wimberg, one of the smartest players on this team. Now he's found a couple guys to work with. And when he can do that, look out, Vanek, he could have had six last night. Yeah, he was all over the place. And I'll tell you another guy that's been all over the place in the last couple of games, and that's defenseman Zach Wierenski. He had a goal last evening, and after the game, he said it's important for the Blue Jackets not to look at who's behind them and coming up on them. It's important to look at who they're chasing. You know, as of late, we've been looking at who's behind us in the standings, but right now we should be looking at who's in front of us and trying to catch them. We're playing good hockey right now, and, you know, I think we should just, you know, worry about climbing the standings and, uh, you know, trying to get, you know, the best seed we can for playoffs. I like that attitude of Zach Wierenski. Look ahead. Chase those teams down. This team now has found its swagger, finding ways to win hockey games, different people stepping up. And when Zach Wierenski's putting the puck in the net with that one-time shot we're used to, Boy, that's exciting for the Blue Jackets. And they don't have to look that far ahead to see who's in front of them. Because after the results last night, the Blue Jackets sit only one point behind the New Jersey Devils. And the Philadelphia Flyers, all of a sudden, are not winning as consistently as they had. Can you catch them and play Pittsburgh in the first round? Let it take care of itself. But the Blue Jackets want to find their game and build on what they've found. Now, tonight they're facing what could be a dangerous team in the Detroit Red Wings for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're not in the playoff picture. Number two, they had a very bad game at home last night being shut out by the Vegas Golden Knights. So they do have something to play for, and that is called pride. Let's look at some of their top players. And three of them that we'll focus on here today, Anthony Matha is one, Dylan Larkin is another, and then the very speedy Andre is Athanasiu. Athanasiu, one of the fastest guys in the league, and the Blue Jackets saw him in a couple breakaways when Columbus was there a couple months ago. He is speedy and young. All three of these guys part of the young movement that's going to be happening here for Detroit. The second guy, Dylan Larkin, young man, skilled, one of the superstars, leads the team in assists, only has nine goals in the season, but he's a dangerous player out there, can do a lot of things in all areas of the game. And Mantha, six foot five, he's a young player, he's their only 20 goal scorer, power forward for the Detroit Red Wings. These three guys are going to try to be factors here tonight at Nationwide Arena. And it's time now to go beyond the numbers, brought to you by Telhio Credit Union. What number do you have tonight? My number tonight has to do with the decor of the Columbus Blue Jackets. They have chipped in offensively, and the number is 11. The last three games, the decor has picked up 11 points. Secondary scoring from that back end, that's a good sign for the Blue Jackets. So 11 points, they want to build on that. And John Tortorella always says that the engine of his team comes from the blue line. That's because they skate, too. And watch tonight, Seth Jones, Zach Wierenski, Jack Johnson, these guys will be up in the play all night long. All right, that is Beyond the Numbers, brought to you by Telhio Credit Union. And that's going to do it for tonight's Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.